Has anybody done <coughs> it before me? Yes, Chris, Chris Pine got it yesterday. Oh my God! Oh! <laughs> First try. <laughs> Back is a story about a wife and mother struggling with, some, struggling with some very complex emotional and psychological demons, and it's about her trying to keep it together for her family. Sounds like the life story of Sarah Silverman, really. <laughs> I'm gonna pass More that to Sarah. More than you know. How did Amy's novel come to be adapted, and what attracted you all to the material? Amy, take it away. <laughs> I heard Sarah on the Howard Stern show. She was talking about her autobiography, and um, she was saying some very vulnerable, honest things, and it really just started by me wanting to get the book to her. I just wanted her to read it. I never thought she was going to even really read it, so all of this is beyond our, you know, wildest expectations. I didn't. <laughs> yeah. I knew she knew what it was like to feel that kind of sadness and aloneness, so. I just, like, cried in front of my dog last week. That I was literally like this. <laughs> I open my eyes and my dog is like <laughs> And Sarah, I'm wondering why do so many comedians make a great transition to dramatic roles? First of all, comics are in general kind of truth tellers and a lot of comedians, you can tell by the <clears throat> rapid death rate <laughs> of comedians, they tend to struggle with depression. And so I think that they have more to tap into than what you, on the surface, you would think of a clown. I remember seeing like great actresses in acting class and just hating them so much because <laughs> They had such access to emotions, and they'd be like, what are you using? And it's like, my dog, you know? And I'd just be like, fuck you. I was jealous of, of that access because I am on antidepressants, and I, my highs and lows are, they're still pretty high and pretty low, but um, my point is what? <laughs> Yeah, I think you made it. it's great. I don't think that comedians in general are strangers to darkness. Thank you, Hollywood Reporter. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. From the bottom of my heart, thank you, Hollywood Reporter. You guys are the best friends a girl could have. I love you.